Hey everyone, it's Mike here. In today's video, we're talking about 20 thrift store items that I sold for profit on Etsy, right? Um, if you're not looking at Etsy, it's, there's a lot of opportunity out there to make some really good money, and it all just depends on what you what you're really you're selling. You know, it does work, guys. I mean, I'm not coming out here trying to promote Etsy. I'm not getting paid by Etsy. Uh, I've been using Etsy for a while, and it does work for my business. So um, this video is kind of to encourage you to maybe go out there and start your first Etsy store and start listing items over there. Uh, anything from vintage, handmade, your own product. This stuff sells, guys, and there's a lot of opportunity over there. There's a lot of shoppers, and uh, people have money over there, and they're, they're willing to spend. Um, another reason why I really like Etsy is there's lower fees. It's 20 cents for four months for one listing, so it's like a nickel a month. It's pretty pretty cheap. And also, you know, I'm getting higher ROI than eBay on some of these items that I'll show you here. So let's get into this here. We're going to talk about some items that I recently flipped on Etsy. Uh, first off we have here, um, I love stuff like this when a buyer comes in and actually purchases two items from me. These are both uh, vintage t-shirts. We've got this one here which is a uh, 1980s Mustang Street Legend large t-shirt and uh, the buyer also bought a Screen Stars Operation Desert Storm military shirt which is awesome, 29 bucks. I do combine shipping on my items with Etsy so um, it just had standard shipping here, and both of these went, actually, believe it or not, they went priority in a flat rate envelope for $5.35. So I did take a little bit of a hit in terms of uh, the fees there for the, the, the mailer, but uh, to the day, I'm happy with that result. The next item here we've got is a uh, 90s, look at this hat, it's pretty wicked. It's a 90s, like, rainbow freaking splatter paint uh, Batman hat. I thought it was really neat, and uh, got uh, $30.88 for that there with $4 shipping. I ship all my hats in boxes. I don't throw them in mailers or nothing like that. You know, people really appreciate that when the package arrives and they've got their hat and it's not folded up, it's not creased, it looks pretty nice and it comes in a box. So um, there's a nice little flip there. This one here is pretty cool. And uh, it's a 1993 vintage Clark Terry Jazz t-shirt, right? Um, you know, he's a famous uh, trumpeteer. But here's the thing, guys, is, you know, a lot of people overlook jazz or anything. I mean, I go after any type of concert, rocks, you know, any type of music shirt, I mean, they all have price points for sure, but this one here, $30 shipped, uh, nice little flip there. Most of these items I'm talking about here today, guys, um, I, I don't have that much in them, maybe a dollar or two, so uh, this is all stuff, it's all vintage, it's all, um, you know, stuff that just sells for me on Etsy, and I'm willing here to, to share it with you here. Uh, this next one is a NCAA uh, polo stripe sweatshirt, it's a Nebraska Cornhusker shirt, and uh, this one didn't last that long in my store, we got $26.88. Seven dollars shipping, so I, I made a little bit of money on that. I just threw this in a uh, uh, flat rate um, envelope and uh, uh, bu or the bubble mailer ones, and it went out pretty good. So nice little flips there. So let's move on to some more here. I'll show you. This one we have here is a. Uh, this is an interesting story with this one. This was an Anaheim Mighty Ducks windbreaker, but it was short sleeve. It was kind of odd. It was new at tags. I picked up a bunch of these, and I tried for six months to sell this on eBay. I couldn't get anybody to watch this thing. I couldn't get any offers for it. I think I had it priced for $35. Nothing. I tried auction the whole nine yards. And, you know, I think it was about two months um, of me listing on Etsy. We got $43.88 for it. So I was pretty stoked at that. Just never seen a, um, uh, a windbreaker that was kind of short sleeve. So that was an interesting find. Uh, this next one here is uh, same kind of story. It was in, on my eBay inventory. I couldn't get rid of it. I just, you know, you'd think Sergey Fedorov, Detroit Red Wings, throwback vintage jersey. You'd think it'd fly off the shelves, right? But uh, it didn't, and it just sat there on eBay, and I just moved it over to Etsy and, and got 35 shipped for that. So I was, I was pretty stoked about that. Um, this one here, uh, anything, again, again uh, Harley-Davidson vintage. This one here uh, was a Hanes tag, and um, you know, I got $107 for it, and this one went to, uh, I believe it was uh, Malaysia. But uh, this one took a little while to sell, but you know, I put that price up there high, and then the buyer just came, eventually came by and swooped it up. So. It was an awesome thrift find for sure. This next one here is um, a hat again. The story with this one, I've had this hat for a year. And I had it on eBay. I could never move it. I mean, I tried everything. You know, 50 bucks buy now best offer. I tried $20 shipped. I mean, the whole nine yards. But at the end of the day, we got $38 for it. Uh, the buyer actually purchased it. And when they got it, they messaged me. They're like, oh, my God, I love this hat. It's awesome. So, um, you know, the sports stuff is is. is key guys when it comes to vintage people love the vintage sports gear and uh anytime i see hats like this i just scoop them up as we move down the path here got some more to show you we've got a 
1987 uh, Chevy IROC Z racing T-shirt, uh, the heartbeat of America, uh, 54 bucks. Can't beat that, right? And you might be saying, well, where do you cope with these prices? Honestly, you know, it's just <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just kind of like off the top of my head. I've been doing this so long, I just come up with the prices. Uh, but 54 dollars for a T-shirt, I'll take that. Again, here's another story of this this Winnipeg Jets uh, jersey. I mean, I could not get rid of this on eBay at all. Period. Nobody looked at it. Nobody cared about it. It was just a little lonely guy out there. And we got thirty-five hours for it, so I was pretty stoked with that. Um, and that's the thing. I think you know, Etsy's got a different. There's a different mindset over there. There's different buyers over there. It's an interesting place for sure. Uh, I talked about this uh, figure in a, in a live show at some point, I, I believe. And um, this is the um, uh, the movie masters movie star uh, Ninja Turtles from '92. Uh, and this one here is, I mean, we got twenty-three eighty-eight for this, so not too bad. I've got some of these more on my store now that are, they're priced higher up now because there are really intricate, the designs on these things, they're really detailed, but uh, 24 bucks or 2388 for something I literally paid a buck for, so I'll take that. And this one here, I wanted, to, I wanted to put this one here today because this one here is another story, right? I bought this thinking that it was, that it was unique, honestly, like I've, you know, and it comes to find when I looked on eBay, there was like 50 of these and it was all mass produced kind of made out in China, and uh, just, it, it, I was like blown away, I'm like, man, it's pretty quality looking when I bought it, and, um, but they were going for like $8 shipped on eBay, so I just threw it up there for, you know, 16 plus 4 shipping, threw in a couple keywords, you know, um, vintage owls really do well, guys, so anything vintage owls for sure, I, you know, I threw in there, napkin, letter holder, but uh, I was happy to get 20 hours with that, considering the fact that on eBay they were going for nothing. Okay, we're moving up, moving up. All right, here, again, um, when you have these photos that are out there, you know, um, you get buyers that come through and just buy a lot of them, right? And uh, we do combined shipping for multiple purchases. So here, I mean, there's nothing simple here, guys. I mean, there's nothing nothing crazy with these, but just look at look at this, right? It's There's three photographs, vintage photos, of a, like a farmhouse with snow. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, farmhouse, snow, winter outside, and... Uh, we got 1350 for these three photographs, and uh, it doesn't seem like much, but you know when you get thousands of photographs, it's like, come on, man, this is crazy. Yeah, so you never know it's subject matter. People are always buying stuff. Uh, here's another example of some vintage photographs that sold, and uh, we got $21 total. The one buyer came in and just kind of cleaned out the, the look of some of these, and you can see they're just uh, you know, little boys and um, you know different fashions, you know from the 50s, and there might be a couple from uh, the one we thought was from the 20s, the one at the bottom here. And um, it was kind of hard to tell. You know, what I always do is I try to look at what they're wearing and figure out what style that is so I can determine the, uh, the age or what year it is. So, but yeah, again, you know, you know, if you have some inventory out there, you throw them up there. You never know when somebody comes in and just buys, you know, five photos for you, that, you know, for 21 bucks. Pretty cool. Okay, we got here. Uh, you guys know I like my snapback hats. Sold this uh, LA Kings, the game hat for $35. Uh, and this one did have a mark that I couldn't get out of the brim here. Uh, it had a nice white brim, but it had a, a mark there, which I disclosed and told the buyer. And uh, they bought it anyway for $35. That was a nice flip there from the thrift for maybe a buck I paid. There's another really nice sale. Um, this is Chalkline. You know, there's a lot of talk about people with starter jackets. And, and Chalkline was kind of the cheaper version back in the day of the starter jackets. But they did make the satin, you know, um, button-up jackets and for all the football teams and baseball and basketball. And so uh, this one here was just Raiders on the front, and on the back it just it, it just said Raiders. There was no big patch, nothing like that, nothing crazy. But we got ninety six seventy three for that, and we charged shipping. So I uh, thought that was a pretty nice score there for something I probably paid two bucks for at the thrift store. And here again, you know, ninety stuff is 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 hot. You know, anything Pearl Jam, Nirvana. Here is REM. Uh, this one's actually an interesting story because I bought this on um, eBay. I sniped it. The guy was selling it for seven dollars shipped, and I said, "All right, let's roll the dice with REM," <laughs> you know. And uh, I looked on after I sniped it, I got it, and I was looking around on eBay because I was going to list it there, and I'm like, "Oh no, you know, there's people selling that same shirt for like twenty dollars." And so I just threw it up there for forty five, and it sold in three days. So I was pretty happy with that. This one here is, uh, you know, look for these uh, these troll dolls. I do pretty well with them. And um, this one here is a, an Italian one, and they got the black hair version here. Um, you know, just I look at my description, look at my title. It's pretty basic. 
$23. <clears throat> These things ship for four ounces, you know, it's, it's pretty basic. I put them in boxes and, um, you know, it's, it's good to go and haven't had a complaint or a return on a troll ever, uh, but people surely do like their trolls. Here's something I picked up. Um, it was actually in a video of mine a long time ago when I first moved to Arizona, and I found these at a, a, an estate sale, and I thought I hit a home run. I was like, oh my gosh, look how old this, this mid is. And I had it again. I had it on eBay for the longest time, and I tried auction at 19 bucks. Couldn't get any interest in it at all. It turned out to be not what I thought. I thought I was going to get 70, 80 bucks on this mitt, but at the end of the day, we took 30, and um, it was pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, and this particular one went to a movie studio, so I was happy to see it go to, to some kind of set or something like that, so that's neat. And what do we have here? Uh, again, you guys know I like Pearl Jam for sure. It's a 92 Pearl Jam Alive concert tour t-shirt. A vintage shirt there, 84 bucks. You can't go wrong with Pearl Jam. Anything vintage sells for sure. So there's 20 items, guys, that sell on uh, Etsy. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed this type of stuff because uh, I like sharing, you know, what, what works for me with you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty transparent when it comes to what I do. So, um, again, you know, you got to diversify yourself when you're out there. And um, if you're not looking to expand on selling other platforms, you're kind of just stuck in a rut. Now, if you're making a lot of money in your rut, hey, that's awesome. That's cool. I'm, I'm kind of geared to talking to people that are, are looking to expand or, or have other sectors, other e-commerce sites to sell on. So that's why I love Etsy because it's, 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 just, it's, it's an awesome vibe over there. It's cheap. There's, um, there are, there's customers there, and it's growing every month, and it seems like it's growing every day. I mean, my sales are, are growing every month on Etsy. So, um, and I know a lot of people say, you know, hey, I've got an Etsy store, and I've got three items up there, nothing sold. Well, you, you can't give up on this, you know, if nothing sells. You just got to keep listing stuff over there and find out what people are looking to, to buy. That was the whole point of me making this video is like, look what I've, look what I've sold, these 20 items here. Uh, so hopefully that gives you an idea uh, to, to go out there. And if you can find this type of item, sure, sell them. There's a market for sure. But at the end of the day, you know, uh, think differently. You know, find products that are not on there. Find the opportunities. Are you creative? There's a lot of creative people that are in Etsy and they're really you know, um, dropping some serious numbers in terms of sales. So, so check it out for sure. And then, uh, you know, again, find a niche and, and build this tribe, right? You got to build a tribe. You need followers. And uh, Etsy is a pretty cool thing for followers. I think, you know, overall, you're going to get more followers on your Etsy store than you ever would in your eBay. So, um, you know, you got to find out what your market is and go from there. Really, that's the whole, the whole point of it, you know? So, uh, hey, guys, uh, you know, I want to thank all of you guys for watching here today, taking some time out of your day. I know the video is a little lengthy here, but hopefully you learned something from here. And, uh, you know, hopefully you're, you get encouraged now. You get motivated to go start that Etsy store. So if you did like this video, hit the like button. If you have a comment, please leave it down below, and you can subscribe for more information. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.